Hi everyone and thank you for popping in. This is a uh, short video segment for my new Caterpillar 30 project. This is a uh, 16 scale, well to be quite honest I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's I believe it's Reiki or Reich, uh, very heavy Caterpillar 30 uh, die cast model. Uh, we're going to be transforming this model into a swamp edition. To give you an idea what that would be, it's this little guy right here. Uh, well, obviously we have some pretty heavy uh, paint work to do, but there are some modifications we need to make to the model to make it more authentic. Uh, it has a canopy, as you can see. You need to do some exhaust work and, of course, the tracks. Uh, I've started with the tracks so far, and using Google Sketch up here, you'll see I've, uh, I've made up the links, and I'm currently 3D printing the links now just to see how well they fit together and how well they fit onto the model. Uh, these are uh, roughly 35 millimeters wide, and they're actually designed to fit on the model. Not necessarily uh, designed to the specification of the uh, authentic 30. Uh, obviously, these need to fit on the uh, on the model, so it may not be uh, completely accurate. But from uh, the surface and from the side, you'll be able to get a general feel for uh, the actual design. So on that note, we'll go over here and take a little look at where we're at. These are three particular links that we are 3D printing. Uh, I actually went through an entire spool of filament, a uh, rather expensive filament actually, and uh, I was trying to fine-tune my print settings to get the highest resolution and highest detail possible, and I think that I actually had it pinpointed down. Uh, I've able to, been able to actually bring down uh, a pretty fine detail as small as 0.5 millimeters. So, I'm very pleased. Uh, this, is, uh, this is kind of a big deal for me. Uh, I've been trying to get this uh, as, as high resolution as possible, and I don't think I can go any, any higher than uh, the way it is right now. So, uh, these are actually some of the samples. Uh, these were from a Caterpillar 20 model I worked on several months ago. And uh, adjusting some of the settings, uh, you can actually, well, I don't know if you can see it, but the Heister logo in the center was never quite clear until I got all the way to the end over here, which was the, uh, the latest and the, the finest print I was able to come out with. Uh, in the process, overall, I had over 130 of these printed using all sorts of different settings. And I, I could tell from the beginning that the, uh, the print was not going to come out, so I would kill it and, um, and just throw out wherever I was at and, and start fresh. Uh, the six here you see in front of you were... Basically, they, they looked okay from the beginning, and I figured I would let them go all the way through. Uh, like I said, it was an entire spool of, um, of filament, uh, roughly $50 worth. But to get the, the uh, settings in line was, was obviously very important to me. So, uh, sorry to, to wander off. Uh, back to the model. Uh, this will be a, uh, a weathered model. This is not going to be made to look like a, a new model. So, we are going to have a little bit of fun with this. Um, Obviously not, not, not too many modifications. I worked on a 60 several months back, and that 60 uh, had undergone some very, very heavy modifications. So uh, overall, we're, uh, we're moving along here. Uh, currently printing at 195 degrees Celsius, and uh, the print bed is heated. Uh, if you've seen some of my videos in the, uh, videos in the past, you would see that uh, I normally point out uh, this information. We're at uh, 55.8 degrees Celsius. It wavers just a little bit during the print. And each one of these um, uh, links is actually, uh, where is it? Ah, there it is. Layer 7 of 88 total. And we have uh, one hour and six minutes to finish these three prints. Uh, yes, we're going to be printing quite slowly, uh, but to get the highest resolution, you, you need to print that slowly. So uh, I'm okay with that. I, I'm not looking for, uh, for volume here as much as I am quality. Uh, that's it. Uh, this will be segment one of, of several, and I will uh, update the video as, uh, as I can. Thank you. Have a good day.